Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys the next big thing in music from Samsung, and that is the live music streaming service of Milk Music that has now made it to your PC. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So Milk Music is the live music streaming service from Samsung that is powered by Slacker that automatically, out of the box, and once you go to the website is over 200 curated stations as well as over 13 million songs and I'm sure those numbers are going to keep on climbing. So all you have to do is head over to milk.samsung.com on any browser you would like. Head over to sign up or sign in depending if you already have a Samsung account and if not you'd be able to go to sign up. Now for any of you out there who wanted to have Milk Music but you did not have a Samsung device now you'd be able to have Milk Music on your PC. All you have to do is put in your email and then your password. This will actually consist of numbers, letters, and a character at least. Confirm it. Go to your first name, last name. Here's your date of birth. Type in the zip code. Put in this little security code, and then you'll be able to say yes or no to the receiving marketing information. And then once you have that chosen, down here, these bottom three checkboxes is where you agree to the terms and conditions. Once you sign up, you'll get an email sent to you to where you'll be able to confirm that you wanted to sign up for the Samsung account for Milk Music. Once you click on the link in your email, boom, you're able to go back into the milk.samsung.com and sign in. Alrighty, so I signed on in to the milk.samsung.com with my Samsung account. So the great thing about this is that if you use the Milk Music on your phone or also the tablet, any song you've ever listened to in terms of your history as well as anything favorited and all the stations you've created is all on your PC. Everything is all synced through the Samsung account. Now let's look up on the top right hand side and exactly what are these icons on the top. This is where you'll be able to create a new station. So you can do one based around a song or you can even do it based around an artist. So let's say that uh, you wanted to make one around U2. All you gotta do is click on U2 and bam, you have a brand new station added. Now, the next option you have is the one in the center, which is the audio tuner. And what this is for, this is where you'd be able to tune and fine tune the station in regards to if you wanna listen to more of what's popular, maybe a little bit more of what's new, and then less of your favorite music. So if you've already listened to this channel, then this is where you'd be able to change all of this stuff. Now, let's say maybe you wanted to listen to more of what you have favorited, less of what's new, and a little bit less of what's popular. And then this way you'd be able to listen to everything you've listened to before that you know that you like. Now, the top right-hand side, this is where your settings is at. You can customize the tuner, and this is in reference of everything that's on the bottom of this site down here. And that is the different genres of music. So if you'd like to add in the country, now you got country added in. And if you don't want country, then you can take it right back on out. And all you'd be able to do is choose anywhere between one and nine genres from this list. So now the great thing is that different channels and genres are not going to pop up that you don't want to listen to. All you got to do is make sure you manage the, the customize the tuner. The next option is manage my stations. This is where you'd be able to have every single station you've ever created, and then you'd be able to check it on out to where you'd either be able to delete it and also you can edit the station. In reference of, you know, what what different seeds, what are what other artists do you want to play underneath Pierce the Veil? Or you'd also be able to change the title of the station as well too for your own customizable needs. Then, let's hit on this X and go to the favorited songs. Every single song you've ever favorited is actually right here. And if you wanted to, you can even click on that heart and you can delete it and you can also click on it again and you can actually bring it right on back. Now, let's hit on this X, and let's go back into the history. So this right here is going to show every single history of all the songs you've ever listened to, as well as the dates and the different station it was on. Now, let's head over into the settings. This is where you'll be able to log out, and you'll be able to choose if you want your explicit content on or off. But then over here, this is where you have the keyboard shortcuts. So you'll be able to use the arrows on the keyboard to either left or right to tune the station, up and down for the volume, and then you also have the space bar for play and pause. Then you have the A to add it to your stations, C to create a station around the song, F is for favorite of the, of the song, and then N will never play the song again on that channel. So let's go over here. What is on the main page of this website? Over here, this is if you were to hover your mouse over this drop down, everything will pop on out to where you'd be able to choose if you want to listen to what is on the spotlight. Any of the different stations that is in, inside of pop, 
and you also have hip hop and everything else that you chose for your customize of the dial and the genres. So let's say underneath hip hop, you want to check out what is the hip hop hits. You'd be able to go on over here and you'd be able to listen to that. Now, any of the songs and stations that you've created is underneath my stations and it's all right here. And then you can actually scroll on down and then you'll be able to change everything as well. Now, as you're listening to the music, this is where you have the play and the pause, or you can use the space bar. This is where you'd be able to change it to the next song. Here is the volume you'd be able to control on the laptop or PC. And then this is where you'd be able to favorite the song, so you'd be able to have it on your list of favorited music. This is the information not only on the type of genre of music, as well as the artist too, so you'd be able to learn everything about Third Eye Blind. Now let's go back. This is where you have the options of the three dots, and it is going to be more to do with the song. Remove from your stations. You'd also be able to create a station from this song, or you could never play the song again. You'd also be able to go on down here and actually slide this little tuner out of the My Stations. You'd be able to go into the spotlight, or so you'd be able to move it on over into even pop in a different genre if you wanted to. And then, maybe if you wanted to, you can click on Hip Hop, or you can click on Rock. So either you can drag it, or you'd be able to click on the different genre, or you can just go back to the default of manual of changing what you'd like to listen to. So this was milk.samsung.com. Hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you guys check it on out. If you guys have any other ideas for more videos you would like me to do, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, at Jimmy is Promo. And if you guys have any comments and questions, make sure you post them underneath this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.